Welcome to our presentation of the CompTIA a Certification Exam 801. My name is Chuck Moore and it's my pleasure to be your guide. I've been working with computers since 8-bit technology, the days of the old five and a quarter inch floppy disks, and I started with hardware. I learned how to build and repair 286 and 386 computers and I've still been working with hardware all the way up to this point in time. Along the way, I took some exams to learn networking, specifically with Novell networking. I became a Novell engineer and a Novell instructor. I saw Microsoft came along so I started learning and passing tests there and I became a Microsoft MCSE back in the days of NT40. I'm certified with Microsoft on Server 2000, 2003 and 2008 as an MCITP. I've been teaching computer technology now for a little over 20 years and I'm having a blast. I've done quite a lot of the CompTIA A+, Net+, and Security+. This exam, the 801 exam, is actually one of two exams that you need for certification. The 802 exam is going to be in a separate presentation. In this 801 exam, there are five objective domains, and they are major categories of topics that you will have exam questions drawn from. The first is PC hardware, and that's actually going to comprise 40% of your exam. So we're going to see a lot of hardware, a lot of hands-on, a lot of demonstration. Next is networking, and that's 27% of your exam. And then laptops is 11%. Printers, 11%. And operational procedures is the last 11% of your 801 exam. With the PC hardware domain, that's that first domain, some of the subheadings that we're going to look at, including configure and apply BIOS settings, differentiate between motherboard components, compare RAM types and features, install and configure expansion cards, install and configure storage devices, differentiate various CPU types and cooling methods, compare connection interfaces, install appropriate power supply, select components for custom configuration, evaluate types of display devices, identify connector types and cables, and install and configure peripheral devices. The second of the major domains, domain number two for networking, we're going to learn how to identify network cables and connectors. We'll look at characteristics of those cables and the connectors. Explain properties of TCP IP protocol suite. Look at the common TCP and UDP protocols. We'll also learn about wireless networking standards and encryption. We'll learn how to install what's called a small office home office or SOHO wireless and wired router and compare internet connection types, identify types of networks, compare network devices and their functions, and use appropriate networking tools. Domain number three is laptops. We want to learn how to install laptop hardware and components, compare components within the display of a laptop, compare and contrast laptop features. Domain number four is printers. You want to be able to explain differences between printer types and the associated imaging process, install and configure printers, and perform printer maintenance. And then in domain number five, we want to use appropriate safety procedures, explain environmental impacts, and the purpose of environmental controls, demonstrate proper communication and professionalism, and explain fundamentals of dealing with prohibited content and activity. And that domain number five is operational procedures. Within each one of those domains, I'm going to give you detailed presentations. So what we've seen here is the major five domains, but you're going to see the subheadings under each one of those five, and that's where you'll see more detailed objectives as well under the subheadings. Okay, let's get started with our presentation of the A-plus certification exam number 801.